up, my YouTube family and friends? This is JD Olson with the Martial Art Limited Association and Kishi Dojo Martial Arts Release. And today we have for you guys another wrist lock Aikido video. We're going to do it on the fundamentals of Kodagashi and how to get that in several different instances. How to get it from a wrist lock, how to get it from a shoulder grab, how to get it from a punch, how to get it from a strike. And so when we do that, just remember it's the same general move the whole time. Awesome. Well, let's go ahead and get into the video. Before we do that, though, go ahead, do us a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to hit that bell icon so you know when our next video is coming out every Tuesday, Technique Tuesday, every Thursday, three minute Thursday. And then we also have review videos coming out. Those are kind of random. And we'll see you in the video. Okay, so now we're talking Kodagashi. This is my favorite Aikido wrist lock. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this from several spaces so you can see how it works. So if they got my wrist right here, I'm going to come down their arm. I get to this position here. At this point, I'm going to rotate my hand out, and that's where the lock happens. Okay? You're going to come down, lock. One more time. Come down, lock. You can do this. I'm okay with that. That's not a problem. It's just this arm is already in play. Maybe you need something a little bit fancier. So when I come down, you could use your knee if you needed to or something fancy. I don't recommend it, but it's okay. Now we're going to talk if it's on the shoulder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step. I get that break. You have two choices now. I can give him a slight pull, which makes him step and walk. Okay? Or I can do the step and walk. So when I go here, I clear it, I help him, and then I rotate it back and I cut the corner. Okay? If... I do the move, I hop here, and then I literally will hop back, and I can cause it to happen that way. Now, let's say this guy is going to go for the old karate chop, okay? So when he karate chops, I'm going to match it like I did for the knife defense video, circle it out, and there's my wrist lock. Let's look at that again. So karate chop, come across, catch it. If I made a mistake, let's say he chops, and I block with this hand. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roll elbow over, circle out, and then cut that corner again. Let's look at that in slow motion. I screw up here. In Filipino martial arts, we're going to call, we call this hung pak by was. It's where I roll my arm over and I pass it by. So what I do is I block, and I'm like, oh, I want a kodagashi. I go this way to capture, and then I cut the corner back. Ideally, though, of course, it would be this thing here. I would just come here and get the finish. Okay, let's talk the punch now. So we're going to do is a generic Aikido-style punch first. Then we'll do an actual punch, which is jab cross or something like that. So if it's just this punch here, I'm going to parry, I'm going to slide, and I'm going to monitor, just like I did with the empty hand, help him out in here. When we do traditional punching in Aikido, we use the ball and space theory. So my fist is here, and it's just going to go until it hits something, which is what Dylan's going to do right now. So as he, uh, back up a little bit. So he ball in space. I just go here, and then I rip it around. And you see how he ends up moving around. Okay, one more time. I just move off the line, and then I cut that corner. There's a big part of this is cutting that corner. Now we're going to go off of a more realistic punch. So if I'm in my boxing position, he's in his boxing position, she's going to jab cross. Remember, I cannot joint lock or wrist lock the lead hand. The, if he throws a quick little poppy jab, like the likelihood of me catching that to wrist lock it is almost impossible. So you're not going to try to wrist lock that one. I just need to deal with that one for the power hand to come at me. So you might be here and you might throw a couple jabs, I might just kind of pop them. He throws a jab a few times, maybe I just parry. And when I see that punch, then I make that happen. Okay? It's not going to be perfect every time. That's okay. It's fighting. It's combat. Maybe I screw up like I kind of did. So when I get that hand, I mess up. Maybe you just go into something else. There's nothing wrong saying I can't follow through with something else. That's why we learn multiple moves. Nothing is sure in this world all the time. You might have to adapt. But if we do everything right, so I may get paired to that, maybe I pair that, boom! That was a destruction from a video a couple weeks ago. Maybe I parry it and I take that and I cut the corner. 
My favorite one to do is this. So I make a deal with that parry, and I catch up to the inside, and then I go. So with the parry here, one, parry there. And I know this is open, but I'm not going to stay there. Wow. Now we're going to do that same lock uh, with what we call the sarong, okay? And I really like this one, so again, it's going to be a parry as that comes in. I loop over. I'm not actually targeting the hand on this one, but I set up the same lock, and it works the same, and it hurts worse. Okay? So we're here. One, two. And then I just drop them down. Boom. Mm. Take them out. Let's do that from the other direction. So remember, you might have to deal with this punch a couple times. You never know. And then as soon as you see that secondary one, you catch him with it. Okay? Let's do it in this direction. Okay. Two, That's where I get him. It burns, doesn't it? Yeah, it just <laughs> crushes the bone. It crushes, it tightens it up really good. Yeah. My instructor Guru Ron did this to uh, Sensei Charles, and he was he was done for the day. Like it, yeah. it locked up really tight and it hurt. Uh, it's a tight lock. I love the sarong for the tight locks. Cool. That'll be good. All right. Well, we just finished up that video. Hopefully, you liked the one, the little secret sarong uh, kodagashi wrist lock. I really like that. It comes from the sarong system or the C lot system when we use the sarong. I think it works really well. I think it ties into some of our keto joint locks really well. And I thank Guru Ram Baliki for teaching us that. I have a lot of fun with the sarong. I will be honest, the first time I did the sarong training, I was like, this isn't for me, this is dumb. And then once I got to do some of it, I was, I was hooked. I was like, oh, this is really cool. So if you haven't already, like I said, please hit that like button. Also, don't forget that subscribe button as we have new videos coming out every Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday is Technique Tuesday, and Thursday is Three Minute or Tips and Trick Thursday. Try to keep them pretty short and simple. And uh, if you haven't hit that bell icon so you know when our next video is coming out. Awesome. Also, give us a comment if you do a Aikido or anything that has the same kind of wrist locks. And let me know what that technique is called for you guys. All right. We'll see you in the next video. You guys stay safe out there.